Ooh, I forgot to push this thing up to 213. We're going for 214 now. But uh, filling up my car costs about $1.50. I think it's between $1.50 and like $2.15. Mm. Uh, so with average use... Oh my god, we got the Mega Hand to start off with. Poison Bullets. Uh, with average use, I'm putting, you know... Ten bucks a month into my car. Well, we, uh, yeah, it, it also depends on the price of electricity where you are. I live in a state that has a lot of hydroelectric, uh, hydroelectric generated electricity, so it's very, very cheap out here. So the Tesla solar panel thing, man. If we own this house, if we if we buy a house, we're putting a solar roof on like there's there's no chance that we're not doing that and then with the power uh the power wall that basically like just takes them the energy that you have and stores it in a giant battery and then you know even if you don't have solar you can use it so that uh during off peak hours it'll fill up for as cheap as possible and then you use that until it's all out and then that's the only time you use peak hour charging, which is when it's most expensive. But yeah, solar panels are something Jackie and I are absolutely going to do if we ever buy a house. That's like pretty much a given. But we're renting this house now. We hope to buy it. This actually would be a great location for a, a solar roof or solar panels on top of the current roof. Man, we're getting a lot of little key boys. Hey, guys, get away from that water, please. The uh, Tesla solar panels have about have a 25 year warranty on them. Full warranty, full replacement. If they're damaged, if anything happens to them, if a if a plane falls out of the sky and drops onto your house and they break, they're fully replaced and insulation is covered. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't see any reason to not go as off the grid for electricity and anything as possible. Yeah, probably not, not so much in uh, Washington State with, you know, we have like the, I think the eighth cheapest energy costs in the uh, nation. The eighth least expensive energy costs in the nation. Come on, dude. Get away from the fucking water barrel. Thank you. Ah, I ran a little bit too far. <laughs> You'll never run out. That's what they say is, you might as well use it because it'll last forever. Also, it's real good the way that it farts up the sky. I, I am too. I, I think that, like, a lot of people tend to think that if you like electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles or any of that, you're, you're, you're a snob. And I don't really understand that. I, I mean, I understand people who don't have a thing find a reason to hate the people that do have a thing, but it's not, like, I, I'm not, I don't know, I don't want to have an electric car because it makes me feel like I'm better than other people. I want to have an electric car because it's fucking cheap, and it doesn't use something that I find morally questionable, you know? I think every car should just be, like, a Flintstone-style car. Basically, less useful than a bike. four people pushing as hard as they can to make the thing move at all. Dude, I really want the, um... God damn it. Didn't mean to use both my blanks here. And still get hit! What the fuck? Man, I probably shouldn't have started this run. And I already did really poorly on the last one. 
I mean, I've seen people, like... I don't know, it's like the Greta Thunberg thing. People hate her because she's an environmentalist. She's like a 15-year-old kid, 16-year-old kid, and they fucking hate her because she thinks that taking care of the planet is a good idea. It's like... I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I mean, I, I just honestly don't understand how you could... She's not saying, like, hey, if you use a car, you're a fucking monster and you deserve to die. She's just saying, like, hey, corporations, stop being dicks to the world. And people are like, fuck her. Fuck the shit out of that terrible child. I hate her. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. This is a bad start to what should have been, like, the best run of all time. Yuck! Yeah, I, it's something that is said, like, I think probably every generation, but I can't wait till these short-sighted fools just pass. That is so loud. I don't know why anybody would want to pay more. Like, if you have a car that's more expensive than $35,000 or whatever the base model Tesla is, and it performs less well, and it costs more to upkeep, and it costs more to, uh, to just to operate regular, like, why do you think that that is better? Why do you think that, like, it's worth making a part of your personality that you fucking hate electric vehicles? I'd understand it if, like, I, I don't know. It's the vegan thing all over again. We talked about it in the last video where some people probably went about it the wrong way and then the assumption is that everybody is in the wrong because we're a tribal people. And we like to hate the other. Like, we fundamentally like to hate the other. Whatever the other is. Yeah. Oh, no, I understand. Yeah, the, the electric vehicles are just the other. And they hate it. Someone told them that, like, people who drive Teslas are shitty. And they're like, well, fuck them. Well, fuck. <laughs> uh, I am so hungry. I am so hungry. I probably should have eaten food. We have no food at home. No, that sucks. I just realized we have no food at home. Wait, I have leftovers. Ah. <sighs> You know, I think people were always like this. I think now they just have an audience for it. If you have my true interpretation on things. I don't think we're any worse or more exaggeratory or anything. I think we just... There's an audience and then there's the echo chamber effect. Anonymity, audience, and like-minded people make everything more so. Right. And it's easier to rally against. Like, I, I think that's a big part of it. The, the whole... Let's form a clique that excludes others is just human nature. I've talked about it before, and I'll talk about it probably again after this. But, like, there's a point in uh, David Wong's book, John Dies at the End, where he talks about what's called the... Uh, the 
what he calls the Babel Threshold, um, which is basically, <laughs> the human brain can only hold so many people in its head as an idea of an individual. Basically, we only have the ability to view like about 150 people as people, and after that, it's just too much, we just stop viewing them as people. So the shortcut, the way to fix that without really changing the structure of our brain is to group things, right? Instead of saying, you know, these 12 individuals are terrible, you say, what the hell synergy is this? I don't know, Ugh, who cares? Um, you say, this football team is terrible. And that's one person. And so you simplify it down to, you just group things as a, as a very easy and quick way to deal with not thinking of everyone as individuals and start thinking of them as, as either in or out of a certain group. And they use like, I think the size of the, one of the cortexes of the brain has something to do with this. And they, they saw that like certain animals could only view as part of the, certain mammals, primates specifically, uh, can only view a certain number as part of their in-group, and that number is between 100 and, yeah, between 100 and 200 uh, with human beings. It's fewer for some, it's a greater number for some. The, the, usually the more empathetic a person is, the more likely they are to retain individuals as who they're talking about as opposed to groups, because, you know, then they, care about them, they think about their well-being instead of just breaking them down, thinking about what they have versus what that person has, how that that group is bad or good. It's just, it, our brain has limitations, and those limitations lead us to do terrible things and lead to racism and bigotry. I, I've heard it so many times, like, I'll, I'll, I'll work with someone who, like, who will provide several counterexamples to their bigoted belief, but still hold on to the belief because they think the few people that they know, like, homosexuality is a big one, especially because as I grew up in the South, uh, people would think all gay people are X, all gay people are Y, whatever. Uh, and they would know a gay person like, well, this one, this guy's different. He's not like the other ones, et cetera, et cetera. Well, this guy also is different. This girl is different. This one's different. This is different. And like, they have to keep making like these exceptions instead of thinking, hey, maybe my thinking is, is the problem. Uh, and it's fucking, oh shit, we got the pox cannon. Um, which to me is just insane. It's just insane that you have to, like, you have, like, a million counterexamples, but you still want to hold on to that core division. Just for the sake of it. Right, exactly. Uh, the big example and the one that I, I tend to go back to is uh, also issued by David Wong. It's why you can hear about a tsunami wiping out 100,000 people off the coast of Japan and barely be phased, but if your significant other breaks their finger, it's all you can think about. Because the people in Japan are just a group of people that you don't care about. They're not individuals, they're not people that matter on a person-by-person -person level. But your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, your whatever, those are all people. Those are things that matter. Because we'd be, we'd be drowning in empathy if we treated every, every death as, as devastating as you know, it actually is. Uh, I don't know. It's weird, man. Limitations. Try to work with them or against them.
Oh my god. So loud. Ow. Squatchy, are you gonna stream tonight? Oh shit, that was close. I don't know. I, I I've recently noticed that as the as politics are growing, right now it's pretty easy, no matter who you are, to uh, focus on your group versus the other group. And I'm trying my hardest to stop doing that. It's extremely hard to do in the middle of an election cycle, but. I gotta, man. I gotta, I gotta be better than the problems I find in others, the shortcomings of my existence as a person. I got, I gotta be better. It's something I've been constantly working on. This year has been a big year of like me trying to be better than I was at this point last year, and I just, I. Well, I mean. They're not really... It's the groups that we don't know about that we have the freedom to, like, vilify and boogeyman up. They're not really the problem. The problem is the individual looking for a boogeyman. They're just the easiest targets, because we care less about them. Scapegoating... Uh, Fear mongering, a lot of that. It's all. It's all because we need someone to blame. Blame the unblameable on, you know. Why did my dad lose his job? Well, it's because he worked at a coal plant, and you know, electric vehicles are leading to less to fewer coal plants. Being health conscious is, or uh, environmentally conscious is leading to fewer people wanting. <laughs> fossil fuel powered things and it's not that like you know the company didn't change with the time it's the fucking problem of the people that are changing not the not the guy who's worked at a coal plant his whole life it, it's like you need we need a we need a, a boogeyman and like I don't know there's not really an easier way to say it it seems like the easiest way to word it but like until you have that, it's whoever you don't know. It's why people can blame <laughs> immigrants for taking their jobs. And I was like, wait, you wanted this job? I don't think he would have worked that job for that pay. I don't think he would have would have done it. I don't think he even wanted it. Why are you blaming them? <laughs> why don't you blame the people hiring them? Why is that never the... The person at fault. And someone looking for a better life is not the person to blame. And someone taking advantage of that person looking for a better life that's to blame. That's how I feel about it, at least. Please, thank you. God damn. That was a long... Long joiny. Ow, my neck! Hmm. What have you been playing recently? You've been so... Was it Crash or Spyro that you were doing? Dude, we can have her all day and I'll be fine with it. Oh boy, okay. So I need to get out of this corner before she does this exact move. Dude, I cannot believe I, I used two blanks on the trigger twins and still got hit. Because I cornered myself, or I allowed myself to get cornered.
Hey, we got a key. Nice. We don't ever get keys from bosses. Bosses. Oh, you played both of them. Okay. Ooh. And a free key, D key. To you, good sir. Um. I need this. Wow. This is like the luckiest I've ever been on. Ah, motherfucker, you've got to be kidding me. Why did I just praise my own luck? Why did I sabotage myself like that? I wasted a key. I, I, I wasted a key on a mimic because I was just feeling good. Wow, that's such an intense smile, Mambo. Whose emote is that? Is that one of yours? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Did you toot your own horn? I don't know why, but toot your own horn doesn't... It only sounds like farting to me. I mean, I know that's very childish, but like... Tooting your own horn just, being, just sounds like making your butt blast. Oh, nice! On the computer? You can look like Horizon Zero Dawn? That's weird. Oh god, that's not what I'm Yeah, warm up. Man, I hope that I can get back into uh, Monster Hunter once Iceborne finally releases for the PC. But as is, I was talking to Kyle about it, and I think we both feel like they dawdled for way too long on getting it out on PC. Like, I just kind of feel like... So... Monster Hunter World is Capcom's best-selling PC game ever. Ooh. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That's a great emote. It really is. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Pop over, I'll pop this stream over to your stream sooner than a butt skin. Ooh, get away. See you. Oh boy, double dead. How do you add G glasses and stuff like that? And what are stream or what are channel points? Man, I don't follow any of that shit. Oh, what? I don't pay enough attention to this kind of stuff. I want to have glasses, Jackie, and 
in your face. That sounds really good. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to go in there because I might have a fuse and I don't have a way to... Oh wait, I do have a way to kill fuses. Pews here. Why are the only they're the only thing in the entire game that you can't walk through that bullets can go through, and they're only in this room on this floor at this time of year at this latitude. Concentrated entirely in your kitchen. Can I see it? No. Yeah, I think that's neat as crab feet. Which is like the highest compliment I can give anything. I still got it. What is with me in using blanks while also still getting hit? Tier 1 emotes from... From being affiliated, but... Oh, you unlock that part of it. Okay, never mind. I know what you're saying. No, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. 42. Oop. Give me something. Uh, red. I never say red. Yuck. She was a blue. Mm hmm. Is that her old boss? Yeah. Your current boss? Uh, so? Did she talk to her? Did she embarrass herself? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, there are more tier 1 emote slots. I don't have those. I just have the, uh... I just have the, um... I think I just have the... Tier 1, 2, and 3. I need to check. I haven't looked in a long time. I'm gonna use this gun all the way up. Because I hate it so much. Can I have keys, not chests? Or keys and chess. I 
I, yeah, I would definitely love to have more tier one emotes. How do you know? Well, you can you can tell me, right? You're subscribed right now. I probably only have the one of the bullet. It was the, the lead god one, right? What? These are all free. Wow. But that might only be because I didn't know that I could do more. Did she say Shibaraja bean slawfish? She needs to watch her filthy fucking mouth. Shiverage of being slawfish. Pfft. Use that kind of language around me. Froze from you. All right, I can go get. I can go get two more monies before we need to head out. Oh, hopefully they sell something good. I think I still have zero curse. Amonomabot is dead forever, from what Kyle tells me. His computer that had it all saved on it is just. Living in a dumpster, I think. I think it caught fire. So. So it's gone. For good. Shivering a bean slothish. Whoa. Wow, that's actually incredible with this weapon. What the fuck is going on? What's this synergy? I think this is actually like an incredibly good synergy. Yeah, it like sends out beam or uh, waves of explosive shots. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Moon Scraper Synergies. Let's see. If the player also has cr the Crescent Crossbow, killing enemies with Moon Scraper has a chance to send out three planets which damage enemies and start orbiting the player if they fail to hit an enemy. That's not what's happening at all. If the player also has Moon Scraper, killing enemies with Moon Scraper has a chance. And the same thing. Same description. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't looking. Fuck. How in the world am I playing this poorly? I was just talking about how I don't have a whole lot of fear of losing a run. Which is like, like I said last time, the most hubristical thing a person can say. It's like begging to lose a run by saying you can't lose. I got hit on the first boss, the Trigger Twins. God damn it. Okay. 
Alright, secret room's right there. The Brick of Cash is not, like, super good, but occasionally it's okay. Jesus Christ. When that happens, when two enemies are really close, it's like a guaranteed kill on the second enemy. Man, I might have to buy health or armor. Oof. Real nervous here. the Moonscraper doing so much damage? Oh god. Rikis are cool. Would have loved to see this. Like... Some earlier point. Hmm. Seventy. Okay, we got Elder Blink. 70, uh, should I get this first? Wait, I can get both of them right now. So we should do this. Wait, I need three? I was gonna say, if I didn't get three in a room with six tables or whatever, then I am very, very screwed on this run. Keep an eye out for tables, so. Oh, I got 21 cents in there, too. Hmm. I could have actually stolen a little bit of that. Bye, Felicia. Man, remember when everyone was saying bye, Felicia? Jackie, you remember that? Yes. God, that sucked. <clears throat> what a terrible time to be alive. You were just left and right. Bye. Goodbye, Felicia. I hardly knew you. They said. Over and over. Alright. Please. If there's even a remote chance that you need it, use the blank. Yes. Like that. You don't use a blank and then get hit. That's the worst. Unless it's. Well, don't use a blank and then get hit. I almost said. Unless it's the elder blank, but. Kind of neat. A flawless here. Oh my good lord. Good night, Vic. Thanks for hanging out. Always good to see you. This turned out to be a mimic. And I got hit immediately. Wow.
Nice. Uh, this sucks. I don't think I have enough money to, uh, get a point. I'm gonna use my last little bit of money. I should be... I should be checking for... Secret treasure. So this one, we want to go... One at a time, right? Whatever. Playing like shit, I guess forever on this one. Alright. How's your Sam's? Saw good. As good as the movie Saw? The movie series, I mean, excuse me. That's good, baby. Oh man, it's getting a little late. I need to do my exercises soon. Pretty good time to get my shrimp in here. Ooh, I'm gonna sell these remote bullets, I think. I don't think they're helping anything. I don't think they're necessarily hurting, but I definitely think that, uh, I don't know how, oh my god. This weird egg may be worth it. It may be worth actually stealing. tables. Huh? What's wrong with me, brain? What's wrong with you, me, brain? I shouldn't do, I should not do two runs of Gungeon in one night ever again. I don't have the mental fortitude for it or something. My brain starts getting empty and I start playing like shit man. My least favorite superhero. So is what's happening there, these planets actually exploding, or flak bulleting or whatever? Because it seems like they're exploding into 
the enemy I just killed. Why is that? I'm very confused about this synergy. It's cool enough to use, though. I do like any weapon that instantly kills the, uh, the bull butts, though. This is the first time I've ever, it, it's not, tr I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it feels like it's the first time I've ever given ammo to the Moonscraper. I just don't like it, but this synergy is freaking cool. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Have you still been streaming Just Dance? Ah! Wow, it's a good time to blank, dude. By the way. Not ready to open that yet. Man, I bet you, like, get a lot of good exercise in streaming Just Dance. I think I actually have that for the Switch, because we bought it when I visited my sister and her family in, uh... Is it Virginia? Nebraska? Somewhere. No, we haven't been to that Virginia place yet. Uh... And we played a bunch of it with them. We also played a lot of 1-2 Switch, which is another stupid game that's fun for parties. What's Twitch Sings? Is that like karaoke? But on Twitch? Dang it, stop being this guy. Dude, getting keys for sale. Oh ho 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 We can totally uh Dude I don't want this one even with the synergy Also where is the secret room with summer? Where is my super suit? Man, karaoke's... I'm getting real, real tired of getting a piece here, a piece there. Fucking... Gun Knight armor. Like, I'm getting really, really tired of it. Huh, that's so weird. So if you're doing Twitch streams or whatever, Twitch sings, then it's okay to play certain songs. 
but otherwise, nah. nah. This gun sucks. I lost my synergy. That's okay. I didn't care about it in the first place. Should I sell brick of cash? I think I'm gonna see how much it's worth. Thirty cents. That's worth the sale. There's only one more secret room, and I'm very likely to not even have one. Do you have like parties every day in this game? We're out of the bar on a first date. Oh. Pamela and Camel Job. And who? Some guy? Oh, it's an interesting. I mean, but is that is Pearl French a uh, character you made? Yeah. Well, I know Camel Camel Jaw. Camel Camel Jaw. Camel of Camel Jaw. <laughs> Should be her, like, evil rival or whatever. Camel is a real name. Like, Camille. Yeah, it is. C A M I L L A, I think. Camila. The, real, the realest name that's ever existed. Even realer than Pamela. I guess I've decided to keep remote bullets because I forgot I had them. Please hit the guy. This is actually a really good boss weapon, uh, so we're gonna give it the old ammo. Ooh, this one sucks. So we'll... uh, it seems like it doesn't work. Oh boy, yeah, you can't do that one with... You cannot use that weapon. Holy shit, maybe we're still gonna drop the thing. Wow. There is so much fucking chaos right now. No, don't destroy tables. I need to flip them for money. Do you know who the Property Brothers are, Jackie? Huh? Who are they? Huh? Jackie lies to me. My wife is a real Fibonacci. And stop fibbing. You don't want to be called the truth. I tell you, I got uh, I got copyright striked for playing that I Dream of Genie song one time and putting it on YouTube. I mean, getting copyright, getting a copyright strike on YouTube is like guaranteed. Their algorithm is like only good for that. <laughs> Can't tell. What do you mean? It's like green. Oh god, she just turned into just a turned real trash. <laughs> she turned into trash skin because she's so stinky. That's incredibly potent odor. It turned your skin into trash. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> Stinkalicious death. Death, 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 death. Where is that water gun that I had? You probably need to turn your computer off and back on. It was off? Huh. 
That didn't seem like it was off. cleared really quickly somehow. Oh, I bet Katana Knife Death Gun Bullets, that's what they are. Katana Bullets. <laughs> Had something to do with it. I should just keep using these bad guns. Why? Almost at the end. Nice, holy shit. That was a good round the corner no look see. Yeah, you can't you can't play any there there are certain songs that are um allowed, like the songs I used for my intro, I got off of YouTube's free music stuff, which I think is actually a pretty cool and very decent thing for them to have. The copyright thing is not like Google being a dick, it's like businesses being like, hey, we want to profit off of our, our music when we own the rights to it, you don't get to profit off of it, because we're a business. And like, even though I'm not in any sense the word profiting off of anything I've done on YouTube. I think I've made like seven cents in two and a half years on YouTube. So stick that in your butt pipe. Smoke it all up. Do it. Seriously, I looked. I looked at the the whatever they call it. It's not logistics, but it's like the uh, the statistics, private st statistics on my YouTube channel, and it's like it basically feels like my channel doesn't exist in terms of any financial reimbursement coming to me. So Google has no incentive to like. keep my channel alive because I don't I don't make them any money and I understand that because it goes both ways like if I was making money I guarantee you Google would be making more money than I am wait am I gonna shove this fucking thing off the clip I'd like to not do that But, uh, yeah, I made, like, a, a few hundred bucks off of Twitch. Not enough to, for it to even, like, really count. Um, because I've been doing this for, like, two years or whatever, and I've spent tons and tons of money on making my stream better. And time and energy and all of that. But, uh, time that could have actually been spent on a profitable endeavor. But, what I will say is at least I've made something after all this fucking time. Can't say the same for YouTube at all. Why does my... Okay. God, I've been sucking ass tonight on these runs. Maybe just in general recently. I don't really know. I haven't been paying any attention. I wish I had 120, 192 cents. 
But I don't, so we're getting the fuck out of here. Up on and up out of here. Yeah, I think that did nothing for me to buy that. Didn't leave any money on the floor. Which is all one can hope for. I need to drop the tech money. Mmm. Don't make fun of me. Why are you making fun of me? Water tastes good. What's wrong with you? Tastes like everything that our bodies crave, Rondo. What does table tech money look like? Get out of here. Who cares about money? Not me. It says there's a chance for these guys to explode into planets or whatever, and the chance seems to be 100%. Oh god, that's the wrong way. Wow, that wasn't an actual room. I can't fucking believe I got hit on the trigger twins after blinking twice. That's like... That's like beyond an obnoxious way to have lost my, my uh, life bag. This is chaotic as fuck. Look at these katana bullet blasts flying around. And these other stuff happening. Planet explosions. Few my last couple runs haven't gone in this room. Are you kidding? <laughs> I was like saved by the katana, katana bullet and then ruined by it. I wonder. So I want there to be like an experiment done where people take an old TV show and like make it be the only show that someone watches and then figure out whether or not people will find the stuff that's in that show cool. Like, so I was thinking about Saved by the Bell because I said Saved by the... That's all it takes. Uh, and I was thinking about how when that show came out the archetypes of the characters, which were basically just the archetypes of the Breakfast Club, without the without Bender or whatever his name is, um, were like considered like the defining characteristics people could have: the nerd, and the pretty girl, you have the smart girl. Well, I guess there wasn't the smart girl in Breakfast Club. It was like the art freak. Um, anyway, if you would still think of them as like cool and like attractive and what to aim for if you watch that show now. Ah! Or would they look lame? Because they look lame as fuck. Time hasn't done them any favors. Uh, but like, if you isolated someone, would they still view them in a similar way? This is the wrong way? Are you kidding me? Or would they view them the way that kids did in the uh, in the nineties, which is those those guys are the coolest people that people can be. AC Slater, Screech, Zach Morris. Why do I only remember the guys' names? Huh. No. 
No, that's from Boy Meets World. Topanga. I remember Topanga. I had a fucking major little boy boner. A major little tiny boy boner for that girl. It was majorly tiny. Ah! I pushed that guy into me. Hey, shove off. It's weird, man. <laughs> Does Jambo 3 not work? Or is it just not showing up on... Oh, it totally works. It just doesn't show up on Streamlabs OBS for some reason. Huh. Oh, probably because they don't have better Twitch TV or whatever. For Streamlabs OBS. Because I don't think that plugin exists for Streamlabs OBS. I don't know. They do exist. Wow! I'm actually glad I bought the key. That's a great weapon. It's also a great weapon. Hey, fuck off. Yo! Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? I feel like I did, but we're in some parallel universe where I didn't. Okay, and I got hit there. There's no consistency in this stupid game. You can luck dodge something like a weird champ. And then you get hit by a very easily dodgeable attack. Be <laughs> more consistent game. We either make it so I always get hit every time, or I never get hit any time. We need some consistency. What is stream elements? Man, Twitch is also doing their own uh, OBS thing. I think OBS, by being a, an open source broadcaster, has just worked itself out of a job. Because I know that Twitch is using... I mean, I know that Streamlabs is definitely using mostly OBS's uh, code. That's the point of open software, I get it. But it's so weird to see these other companies, like, commercialize freeware, you know? Yes, yes, yes. That was a good first round. Second round, I think we're going to do this one and this one. Wait. This one. DS1. Who's that working on that teleporter? What is that? Microscope? I mean, telescope? Um, it's not a spaceship. No, it's not. 
There's no such thing as a rooftop spaceship. That would destroy the building underneath it. This run is going really well, but I don't think I like like any of my guns. I mean, I like some of the room clearing guns that I had, but I don't think I like much, if anything, that I have for a uh, loss pressure. There we go. Yeah, none of this stuff's that good against bosses. Like, usually when I'm at this phase of the boss and I got them all locked in place, I mean, that was still pretty quick. But I had the, uh, the, uh, virus Andromeda strain. So it took a while. Yeah, as I was saying it, I realized how fast it was going. It just didn't feel <laughs> as potent before I started watching the health tick down while he was frozen in place. And at least we got a Lich Flawless. We gotta get something. I'm gonna take damage from the first boss, and it's the easiest first four boss, and I use two blanks. What the fuck can What the fuck Alright, anyway, that's a good 214. 